Today we're going to take a look at a robot kit from Budget Robotics. This is Gordon McCombs' company. Uh, you can go to budgetrobotics.com. A lot of fantastic products um, out there at very reasonable prices. Um, one of the other videos I did was for the big gripper hand. Um, awesome gripper hand, servo controlled. Really like that kit. Um, this kit is a complete uh, robot base we're going to take a look at. Um, out of the box, it's all nicely packed together so you don't lose the parts. Um, the kit's blue. I'm going to get all the parts out and we'll see how it goes together. Okay, now we got all the parts out and separated. Um, one of the things that you'll notice with the kit, the parts are made out of this really, um, really durable, durable, thick um, PVC material. Uh, it looks great. It holds up well. It's really sturdy. Um, it's not flimsy, but it's also very lightweight, which is nice. Um, I, I really like this material. I'm thinking about buying some sheets of it from from Budget Robotics. You can actually just buy sheets of it um, in various colors. All the primary colors, red, black, green, uh, I think there's yellow. Um, really great material. Um, these wheels are awesome. If you've had a robot before um, with servo motors and the little servo wheels, you're used to very thin wheels that are probably thinner than this with like a rubber band type material around it. These X wheels are comparable in price. They're very easy to put together, but you can see how thick they are. This is going to give you a lot more stability on your robot. And instead of a very thin rubber band, you actually get this really thick rubber tread material that's going to go around the wheel once you assemble it. You do have to assemble the wheel, but it comes with a uh, servo horn, and it comes with um, little metal tab inserts and screws. So the wheels are in there. The servo motors, it include, this kit includes two continuous rotation servos. Um, one of the things I liked was it come with a little servo wiring diagram that reminds you, do not reverse the positive and ground, or you will possibly or very likely burn out the servo. That's a very good warning. Um, especially if you've never worked with servos before. You can't treat them like a DC motor. You do have to pay close attention to the positive and the ground. Um, on these, when I first saw them, I was thrown for a loop because I don't think the video will show it, but it says GWS S35 slash STD. And if you're accustomed to working with servos, you probably know STD means standard, and standard usually means the servo does not rotate all the way around. When I first saw that, I thought, what happened? Did I get a uh, servo that's not going to spin all the way around for my wheel? But they actually do spin all the way around. Um, just the marking threw me for a loop at first, because I'm used to seeing STD meaning standard, meaning it doesn't rotate around, but these actually do. Um, so, that's something new I learned with the kit. Uh, the kit also includes um, these bracket parts that include a... Uh, um, uh, it's actually three parts to make each bracket. Um, you get these part and this where your servo goes through it. These are really awesome mounting brackets. I love these. I've used these on other robots before. Um, makes makes mounting your servo very easy. It's a lot better than using double-sided tape and wire ties or whatever else you might be using. Um, these from Budget Robotics are very inexpensive and very easy to use. You could use them again and again in different designs. Um, I highly recommend these. You can get these by themselves. You can get the wheels by themselves. You can get all the various parts by themselves if you want to, or you could get the whole kit, which is what we're working with here. Now, before we assemble it, uh, we really should have a set of directions. I pretty much know how it goes together, but 
um, the instructions are online. So we are going to take a look at Budget Robotics website, get the instructions, and assemble this kit. And here we have the BudgetRobotics.com um, website. Um, and on the website, there is actually a link right now to the new Ardbot chassis, which is what we're assembling. Um, this chassis is featured in Servo Magazine, a fantastic magazine for robot builders. If you've never heard of it, uh, check out Servo Magazine, uh, Servo.com, I believe. Uh, Gordon McComb is a feature, featured author there. Um, has a lot of great tutorials, um, excellent magazine. Um, <clears throat> but if we take a look at the kit, um, not sure if this is going to show up on the video or not, but the Ardbot chassis right now, it's $14.95. And if we click there, we'll see what we get with the kit. Um, this is the chassis kit. It wouldn't include the servos, but it includes all of the hardware. Um, so this is the complete chassis minus the um, servos and the wheels. Um, that was included in the kit that I'm assembling. Um, but from here you can see what a completed robot would w w might look like with this kit, with a few other extra components. Um, and for colors, you for this for this kit you have dark blue, black, and red as the colors. Um, but from the website here, if we go to the Ardbot manual, then we can download the um, instruction manual. I've already downloaded it and brought that up in Adobe. And so here's the instruction manual. And there you can see a comp what a, one of the versions of the completed robot might look like. includes a description of all the parts included and starts you off on how to assemble it. Um, I won't go through it sh I won't go through showing this step by step but I will show how to assemble it. Um, and I'm actually going to start with the wheels instead of the servo bracket as shown in this step.